Have you guys ever thought of looking at this leaderboard and just wondering how do these people get the wins they have? At the current time of recording, I have 198 wins, 1,205 kills, and it is the 10th, 18th of October. As you guys can see, winning this method, I am currently at 300 wins, and I it is currently 9:31 p.m. I took a short break, 10-15 minutes, so this. In basically one hour I gained a hundred wins now as you can see I got 100 wins in one hour so that means I could get on this leaderboard in just a day or a couple of days not even if I just focus I could become the top hundred players pretty easily now let's start at the journey I decided for the first method I was gonna use was the invisibility method that I posted on my previous video. Now this method did give me a lot of wins. It guaranteed at least one win every 2-3 games as long as I fo focused on the game. So the invisibility method that I explained is basically just using your invisibility to get to the finals and then using an auto click to beat the user. Of course using this method is not that fun and if you want a more in-depth version of it you can look at my previous video which is gonna be in the description below. Now I followed this tactic and within an hour or two I gained 20 30 wins. That was pretty good but in my book that was not fast enough. Bruh. I could get on the leaderboard using this method but it was not good enough. It, was, it didn't make me feel proud of myself. Mostly because the game just got boring for me after that. So I decided to research the main components of this game. What gives you a win? So in this game there are two factors into winning. The amount of players inside the server and the amount playing. Now inside the server there could be 12 players but if there's only like three or less playing you the wins will not count. So after checking that out I decided what if I go to a small server. Now going to a small server that has three or less players well me being the fourth could work couldn't it? So I decided to put this to the test. So to find these small servers I got an extension called Ropro. Now this extension is free but it's up to you to use it. This extension lets you filter out servers that have a certain amount of players. Using this, I filtered out servers with just 3 or less players and I joined them. Now, some of these servers had active players, some of these did not, and while others had hackers. But this was a great method. Whenever I found a server with that worked and I was the fourth person, I could get wins pretty quickly. But there was one issue, players leaving and me having to find a new server. And even those players being better than me or stuff like that. Of course it was faster, in an hour I could get way more wins than I did with the invisibility method, but it still was not fast enough. So I decided to use the old method on Roblox for getting multiple accounts in the same server. I filtered out servers with two or less. Once I got into those servers, I used the method Microsoft Store to download Roblox and play with my alt. My alt then joined me and we had four players. Now this helped a lot because now there were only two others that I had to defeat and most of the time one of them were AFK. Okay. So I had to defeat one person and then I could get the win. This doubled my winning rate and I made it fast but it still was not enough to give me 100 an hour. There was one more method I could do, filling the entire server with my L. Now many people can't do this method but you should be able to as long as you have one desktop and a mobile. So you find a server with one player in it that's not a hacker. Once you find that, you get your alts to join you, and for a while you'll have the server to yourself. The main, the person will likely be FK if there's only one in the server, and you can just keep on versing your alt account. Now, do note that there is one important factor: you can't have the AFK button on because the wins only count when there are four players playing in the server. You'll get kills, you'll get coins, you'll get everything but wins. You need to have four or more players in a playing in a server to get wins. After that, I just kept my alts outside of AFK, made sure they did not idle off. And just kept on defeating them. This gave me a win every 15-20 seconds depending on the third last person there and how who the ball targets. So in a minute I could get up to two to four 
wins. Isn't that crazy? People don't even get that in an hour, but I got that in less than a minute. I did this method for one whole hour and gained a hundred wins. And I continued this method and see how many I could get in a day, but it bored me too out of my mind. Cause I had to be focused so I could hit the ball out. Now you could use auto clicker, but it'll be guaranteed one of your accounts win, but it won't be guaranteed that your main account will win. You'll still get the wins, but yeah, you may idle out or you you won't be your main. So I just played a video in the background and just played this game and kept on attacking my out. But it still bored me. So I took a short break. So in less than four hours, I gained 500 wins if I could take out the breaks in between. So it took over a day for 500 wins. But in general, if I could focus, I could get over a thousand wins in five hours. Because 500 wins with barely focusing in four hours and imagine that while I was focusing. So in less than a day, I could become the top player in the global. So once I got to 500 wins, I got simply got bored of this method and did not see a reason for me to continue because I did not want to get on the leaderboard. I just want to see how these players on the leaderboard got there. Well, if you guys did learn something through these methods, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell. And again, if you want a free battle pass, join my discord link in bio. We will be doing a giveaway there. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.